Hi everyone, my name's David. I'm taking the same courses as you with Evoca. Um, I'm creating some tutorials to see if I can't help you guys work through the course with me. Um, once you get past the initial two classes in the first cluster, then we start looking at web development. So before you get started in any of the web development, we really have to, there's a few things we have to do. One, we have to install web matrix onto our PC. Okay, so the first thing we need to do from here is we need to go to microsoft.com forward slash web forward slash web matrix. Okay, now if you look down, um, you'll see a green button on the screen that says free download. Uh, click on, go ahead and click on there and that will actually start to download and install onto your computer for you. Now just be aware that this can take um, roughly about half an hour, maybe longer, depending on the speed of your internet connection um, and your download speeds, of course. So you, you're going to have to just be a little bit patient, but I'm going to walk you through it step by step. Okay, now that it's downloaded, um, go ahead and close down your web browser. Okay, now you should see the web platform installer for Web Matrix open. Okay, so go ahead now and just click the install button and of course accept the uh, terms of agreement. And um, now it's going to go ahead and it's going to attempt to download everything that you need for this installation, including SQL Server 2012. So now I'm just going to jump ahead of all the downloading and um, take you to the next step. Now once this is completed, um, just go ahead and click finish. Now you'll be shown a bunch of other information um, and spotlight. From here you'll see that there's a Visual Studio Express 2012 and 2013 for web with Microsoft Azure SDK. I suggest you use the 2012 not the 2013 just because the 2013 has removed the option to have the split screen um, which is a pain in the neck so just go ahead and select and add the Visual Studio Express 2012 with Azure for now and click install. Okay of course you got to agree to their terms of agreement and click accept. Okay so this process here is pretty much the longest because uh, Visual Studio Express is quite large and there's a bunch of different tools and things that it has to install. So I've actually um, sped this up something like 20 times to cut it down but the process should take about 20 minutes um, on a decent internet connection. Okay so we've got everything downloaded and installed now so just go ahead and click continue. Okay now switching to your web browser you just need to um, close your web browser and all the tabs. Now you'll see the finish button from the installer and then go ahead and click exit and that should take care of the installation. Okay so from here we go down to our start button click on it and go to all programs and now you should see a web matrix that's been installed. So go ahead click on that Okay, once Web Matrix opens up the first time, you're going to see something about Windows Azure and the free trial. Don't worry about that for now, so just close that down. And this should be your um, starting screen for Web Matrix.